Exciting news, the all new Peugeot 2008 is out. And today, thanks to Perth City Peugeot, we get to test drive one. Hayden. Hello, Aaron. This is it. This is it. Now, just to be clear, this is a small, compact SUV. That's right. So this is the smallest SUV we provide to the market. Peugeot's lent us this one for a couple of days. Sneak peek. That's right. Get everybody Sneak excited. Peek. Oh, well, I'm excited. It's definitely a striking looking car. So we've got a nice big grille up the front. Very, very stylish. Bit of satin chrome. We've got these new LED light strips that break it up down the side there as well. And the signature three claw design with the headlights as well. And this is a small SUV, but it's yep. got a lot of road presence. If you want to talk about road presence, come look at it from the side. Wow. Small SUV, it feels small to drive, but yet you still got a lot of presence on the road. Nice big 18 inch alloy wheels. They've been blacked out as well on the GT Sport. They look amazing. Again, following with the satin chrome down the side, blacked out roof, blacked out mirrors, really to make the car pop. It's got a lot of road presence. What I like about the SUV style of driving is where your driving position yeah. is. How does it feel to drive? Oh, it's, it's amazing. So even though you're in a small car, you've still got good visibility over the road because you're in that SUV seating position. Now, I'm going to jump in the driver's seat. I yeah. want to feel what it feels like to actually drive one. And how about you talk about the changes on the inside? Absolutely. Let me get the door for you, Aaron. You are a gentleman, Hayden. You are a gentleman. Now, tell you what, Hayden, the interior is impressive, as impressive as the outside, but what immediately has caught my attention is this 3D eye cockpit. That's incredible. I've never seen anything like it before. It's blown me away. It's such an intelligent design. You can have all your different menus up there as well. You can have your satellite navigation, your adaptive cruise control. You've got a nice digital speedometer as well. And it really just jumps out at you because it's that 3D design. And they've also upgraded the LCD. Yeah, you've got a nice big 10 inch display here. All your information that you need on it, satellite navigation, your media, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well. So there's a lot of features available at your fingertips there. One of the things that Peugeot has impressed me with is no matter what model you choose, there's a lot of symmetry. Yeah and there's a lot of thoughtful design. I really like what's going on here. Yeah, we've got these nice buttonless touch options for the screen, all piano black as we flow down. We've got a nice wireless phone charger in there. We've got two USB points up the front. One of these is a USB-C, which is a fast charger, and two more USB points in the back as well. Peugeot's got their, their famous gear shifter in the middle here, which is really nice and elegant. Electric handbrake, of course, and then a little switch for a couple of different drive modes as well. So we do have a sports mode in this GT Sport if you have a bit of a lead foot and you want a bit more power. <laughs> it, it definitely gives you the driving position that people are after. Yeah. One of the things that has taken me a while to get used to with the Peugeot is not looking through the steering wheel, looking over the steering wheel to yeah. see all of the features I've got. But now that I'm used to it, I would never go back. That's right. I mean, with the Peugeot i cockpit, it just makes life easy. Keeps your eyes on the road a lot longer because every, all the information is right in front of your face. You don't have to look through the steering wheel, you don't have to tip your head down at all. It's just, it's just there, it's yeah. easy. Without removing my hands from the steering wheel, I can control the setup, I can control the radio, the entertainment, I can flick through and see information on the car, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So let's talk about the available options that people can actually purchase. So we're gonna have the two models, the Allure and the GT Sport up first, and then later on in the year, they're gonna slot in a middle class one called the GT. Okay, let's talk about the safety that comes in the Peugeot. So safety wise, we've got a five star end cap safety rating. We've got airbags galore, and then we've also got a lot of passive safety as well. So adaptive cruise control, collision avoidance, lane keep and lane departure. We even have lane centering on the GT Sport. So it'll, when you're on the highway, it'll steer you in between the lines perfectly. <laughs> So if, even if you're a bad driver, like, yeah, it's, it's it'll correct you. It's our first step into autonomous <laughs> driving. Let's talk about the luxury available. So we're sitting on Napa leather seats. Mm -hmm. You have a massaging seat underneath you as well. Much like the 3008 we drove earlier. You can and get that's in. one of my favorite features, yeah, by yep. the way. We have a nice big panoramic roof in this one as well. Now that's an option for the GT Sport. Talk me through driver peace of mind. So cost of ownership is a big thing for a lot of customers. We now have five years unlimited kilometre warranty and five years cap price servicing, and your service intervals are actually every 12 months or 15,000 Ks. So nice big gaps in between your services there. And when will drivers be able to actually purchase one and have it on the road? Well, look, we can put a pre-order in now, which I recommend because they are getting snapped up very, very quickly. And then we're expecting our first shipment to arrive early 2021. Now, if someone wants to test drive one for themselves or find out more, what should they do? Visit our website, pervcitypeugeot.com.au or just come visit us in Victoria Park. It's that easy. That easy. I like it. Now, talking about easy, 
How about I choose where you're going to buy me lunch? <laughs> I knew you'd say that. <laughs>